Alright guys, girls, welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. <laughs> Can you dig it? Alright, check it out. Today's part two. A 2004 Nissan Maxima. Last in part one, the intake was broken. It had a corner broken off to it. So we gotta need to take a ride. We need to take a ride down to Cox Auto Salvage. Yeah, buddy. A shout out to Jeremy and Tim down there. All right, so we can find us another one, take it off, and get ready to put this car back together. So get your car keys, make sure you put on your seatbelt, and let's take a ride. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, let's get ready. We're taking number 22. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Our 2000 Mercury Cougar. And this is why I call number 22. Because over here, it's kind of faded. But this one's number 22. The Mustang is number 21. All right, so let's get our keys. Let's take our ride down there. We'll be right back. All right, here we are, guys. The best place on earth. <laughs> Cox Auto Salvage. Yeah, boy. Now, I'm supposed to be here for the intake for the Nissan, but I got to check out the Mustangs. And check this out. I was just talking to Jeremy. Jeremy's up in the front. Jeremy's, Jeremy's cool. I can, from the Ford Ranger, I can just pull the axles out of the Ford Ranger and stick them into the Mustang and I turn my five lug. That'd be cool. But let's see what we got here. I want, um, you know, you let me, you let me surprise something here and find me a fox body with somebody just got the, that's a, that's the old style right there. Let's see over here. Yeah, I doubt if I see any over here with an engine in it. That's the old style Mustang. With that four cylinder. Why would you get a, if you get a Mustang, why are you gonna get a four cylinder? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta get me an eight. Now these are the newer styles, 3.8. Let's see here. Uh, still got a lot of Mustangs, but these are the the newer body styles right here. Well, newer than mine. I need something. Let me see here. Man, this place is great, man. Look at I, I'm like in heaven. No, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, boy. All right, let's see what this one has. Dang it. Oh man, this is not going to be good. Woo! Get that one right there. Look at that Mustang. These are all the newer Mustangs. I'm in trouble. I am in deep trouble because I wanted to. <coughs> ah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Ah, let me see. Let's see here. What's that over there? No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Look at it. There it is. There it is. Yeah, buddy. Uh, uh, let's see over here. Oh, man. I have no engine or nothing here. Huh. I like the lights. That's the one piece lights. Not bad. Yeah, let me set my, I gotta set my bag down here. Oh, this is the, the fiberglass hood, huh? Oh, that's light. Look at that hood. What do you think, guys? Think it, should I? But well, that's crap. They can fix that, right? The body shop can fix that. Woo! Man, that's got to take some weight off the car right there, that fiberglass hood.
Huh. All right. Let's see. Let's get my bag here. A bag of tools. And we got the last of the Mustangs right over here. I like this hood. <laughs> Too bad it's a different body style. Body style. Let's see. Let's get up under here. Oh, that's the, the 3.8 way back there. Okay. All right, so that's the end of the Mustangs. We in a little bit of trouble, but that's cool. That's cool. Jeremy gave me some great information. So let's go over there. Next time we're gonna do, we're gonna go over there to the uh, Nissans and get this intake right back. All right, guys, found it. Look at this. And it's an 04, the exact same year. So what I gotta do, let's figure a way. I gotta get something to prop this hood up. And yeah, everything looks the same. It's missing the throttle body, but I'm, we're gonna be changing that anyway. We're gonna put hers back on anyway. Everything else looks like it mounts up and all. All right, so what we need to do Let's get us something to prop this hood up in the air. And you gotta be considerate. When you go to a yard, you gotta be considerate of others. <coughs> like for instance, like see, the windshield is really in good condition. A lot of guys, I know what they do, they take this hood and they fold this thing way back. It mess up the windshield and you know, you can't even sell it. By the way, let me give a shout out to Glenn. Hey buddy, Glenn uh, is one of the people down here. I just met him, him and his dad. Great people, man. I mean, there's some nice people around here. All right, so let's get a let's get a prop rod or something from something and prop this up. And get this thing out of here. Bear back. All right, guys, got a prop rod up here. Now you remember in part one, in the back of the plenum, there was two bolts going into a bracket. Now I just reached back here and one of them is missing. But the other one is there. So this is where you use a 12 millimeter shallow socket 3 h drive with your 3 h drive ratchet. And you got to reach back there. And once you get that bolt loose. Dang it. Well, once you get the bolt on there, with the ratchet on there, you'll be okay. Dang it. No, I can't hold that. Uh, let me turn this thing a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I got it loose. All right, let me get that bolt out. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the bolt out. Next time we do my needle nose. And we have a coolant line hose right here. Break that clamp off. We got one right here. Let me turn the back off. And we got one right here. Okay. Then we're gonna pull them off. And let's move around to the next step. Bear back. All right, guys, got those off. And guys, what I like to do, I like to leave the hoses connected because you never know, somebody might have dry rotted, messed them up. So they might need that hose. So I don't, uh, try not to mess it up. Now, very important, when you go to a scrap yard or something, you definitely want to get you some cordless tools because you're going to need this. And we got our pole driver. Let's get this uh, solenoid off of here. Dang it, drop my coal driver. Let's put the bolt back in it. And then we're gonna go around. This one's already out. Then we're gonna get this one off. Okay. And take that out. And just like I always taught you guys, put the bolt back in it. All right, work around. We got one right here.
put the boat back in. I know a lot of guys, they come, they go to a, a yard like this, and when you see, that's all they do, just start cutting. They, they wouldn't unbolt this. They just cut the wires and leave it hanging. I try not to do that. You know, try to be considerate, always try to be considerate for the next person. All right, take these hoses off. And then we're gonna unbolt the five, the three bolts and the two nuts holding on the plenum. But we can't disconnect it yet because in the back we got our PCV valve holes down in there. And we got our holes right here. There it is. That's going to the brake booster. But when we push this back, we're gonna be able to get that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, also we gotta disconnect the, the EGR tube right here. So let's get our 12 millimeter hooked up on this real quick. And bolt those two out of there. Just like that. And get those off and we'll be right back. All right guys, we got the the nuts and the washers off over there. There they go. And again, before, like before, I told you those are like gaskets. Now, what we're gonna do here, like we didn't do on the uh, the original car, is this pipe right here. I'm gonna remove it. So I got my long extension here on my pole driver, and we got two bolts way down there. I'm gonna take them two bolts out, and we'll be right back. All right, we got those two bolts out, and you got our sensor right here. This is the EGR temperature sensor. That's all we want to just pull that out just like that. We we'll have to take it out, just get it out the way. All right, now let's switch over here. Go to our 12 millimeter. Okay, now let's take out those three bolts and two nuts. All right, we got our bolts out, and there we go. Bring them out here, and there's our two lines, our PCV valve holes, which is off already. And let's get us a screwdriver to take that hose off. All right, we're back. All right, guys, we got that off. And let's see. And there it is. All right, let's set it down over here, right here. And remember on ours, the one we got, that, that air right there was cracked. So what I wanna do is turn this over. Just wanna make sure everything is good, and it is. All right, guys, when you come in, definitely have some off or something on because there'll be mosquitoes and that's like crazy. <coughs> and maybe I'll do a video and let you know what I use when I come here because it works great. <laughs> all right, so once you get your parts and off, you go into a yard like this, you get your parts, you always lower the hood. Put the hood back down because with this water and all, it will damage stuff. And, you know, a lot of you guys might not think it's, that eh, it's causing a junkyard, whatever. No, nah, that's not the case. Always be considerate. So I'm going to take this little prop rod down, take it back down, and lower this hood down. All right? Right back. All right, guys, there you have it. There's the end of part two. I hope you had enjoyment with this ride along coming out here to Cox Auto Salvage. And what I'll do is in the description below, I'll put in their phone number. There's, they have endless cars, so if you uh, need anything, give them a call. Um, I believe they would ship. It might be a little extra little charge, but it won't be much. All right. Any kind of comments, questions, be sure to put them in the comment section below, or you can email me direct to tim at astroautorepairs.com. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I do. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. We'll see you next time.